Hi everyone, this is Edmund with a quick tutorial on how to use Keyword Planner to check whether there's a healthy organic search traffic from our target audience. If you have any questions, you can contact me at edmund at imlicious.com. So now we are at the screen of Google AdWords, basically google.com slash AdWords. Just enter on it, then you'll be brought to this page. So here you'll be required to enter your email address and of course the password. If you do not have a Google account, you can always go to gmail.com, just enter it. And then here you'll be able to just click on add account and then go to create an account. So this will allow you to create a Google account. So once you have created your Google account and gotten the password, okay, you can just go to google.com slash AdWords to use the keyword planner, which is a fantastic tool to see how many people are searching for your niche market. This is basically to check the general interest as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to log into my Google AdWords account. So after you click on the sign in button, you'll be brought to this page, also known as the campaign management. So in order to assess the keyword planner, you can just go to tools, just click here, and then go to keyword planner. So once you are on this page, they'll ask you what would you like to do. So in this case, we are searching for new keyword and ad group ideas. So just click here and then just key in strength training and just scroll down. The rest I'll just leave it as it is and then click on get ideas. So under this section, you'll want to go to this pencil icon here. Just click on it to set the match type and then select exact match and just click on yes. The reason why I pick exact match because it's very important when you are talking about exact match, that means that the person is entering the exact phrase strength training into the search box on Google. You have to select broad match. That means that as long as any words contained strength training insight is considered as part of the keyword count. So it's not really that accurate. So in this case, I really encourage you to select exact match so that you know exactly how many people around the world are searching strength training. So in this case, we are targeting the United States because that's where the majority of the English speaking people comes from. Okay, so just pick United States is good enough and then go to keyword ideas. So under the keyword ideas, you'll be able to see that strength training has an average monthly searches of 18,100, which is fantastic. And you can see that the suggested bid is about $3.03. So this is more for pay-per-click. So that means that this keyword is pretty valuable. As you can see, the suggested bid is quite high, $3. And then the competition is low as well. So this is more for AdWords advertising. Okay, they are basically the ads that appear on the top of the search listings. So these two figures are not really that important. You want to pay attention to this figure. So 18,100 is more than 500. So this is really fantastic. That means that a lot of people are interested in strength training. All right. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see other keywords, which gets quite a lot of search counts as well. So these are other potential sub niches that you can enter into for the niche that you're targeting, such as strength training exercises, strength training for women, strength training for runners. So these are basically some of the categories that you can explore further with your strength training website, along with core training as well. So that basically gives you a better idea on how to use this keyword planner. So with that, I've come to the end of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at admin at and I'll be glad to help you out. So thank you for listening and goodbye. See ya.